Hi Metropolis, it's a good day today. So right now we're here in my kitchen and I'm going to show you around because a lot of you have been asking for a house tour. This is going to be a more detailed tour of my little kitchen. Let's start, shall we? Behind me is our breakfast nook. This table we had this when we moved to a townhouse. Very relaxing. There's even pillows there because we're going to After eating, sometimes they lie down there, right? It's a bad habit. Our fridge is very small because we also have a freezer in our dirty kitchen. Welcome to my fridge. Very compartmentalized ang mga bagay-bagay. You see here on this area, this is where I keep most of our leftovers. Here, I have a little Lazy Susan for the sauce and for the, some of our jams. What's nice here is that it's removable, so you can just put it on the table. So here, we do juicing also. We store it in glass container. So these are my cheeses, may mga tirang chips. These are some of the hams and mga packed food. I use yung mga ganitong klaseng containers. It's easier like to pull out ba if you need something para mas sorted yung items. So this is where our medicines, vitamins are and of course, mga character drinks ng mga anak. We have milk here and you know, our drinks here. Wine. <laughs> Small freezer when you, where you can store mga cold cuts. Cold cuts. <laughs> I have my chocolate there, and then this one naman is the ice maker. We don't really use yung built-in ice maker niya. We use this as parang ice holder. It comes with a scooper. We store ice sa ganitong lalagyanas, and then nililipat namin siya dito para mas madaling kuhanin yung ice. And then these are breakfast food. One thing that I love the most with this fridge is this area because this is where we store yung vegetable and fruits. This is a vegetable keeper. So kapag nagmo-moist na siya, ang maganda sa kanya, pumupunta doon yung excess water. Mas nakikip yung freshness niya. I have a lot of these, you know me, di ba? I miss container. It's easier to clean, it's more efficient, like you just have to pull out whatever you need. The way we do our groceries, we only buy what we can store. We don't want clutter around the house. Same thing here in the kitchen. I like it maintained, I like it clean, I like it neat. Dapat lahat nakatago siya. So this is now our... Okay. This is where I store most of our chips and snacks. Ginagawa ko, nilalagyan ko siya ng list dito. And there's a ball pen where we can slash out kung ano yung mga kinukuha namin dun sa likod. Now, these are our breakfast jams. Same thing, it's in a container. So, pag breakfast, pwede na tong ilabas. These are the snacks of my kids. It's placed here so that easier for them to get. Again, snacks, you know, with three kids, you need variety. Kasi even with this amount, they're gonna say, Mom, there's nothing to eat. I don't know why. These are some of the sauces also, but mostly our stock. So that's our pantry. You might ask, wala ba kayong ano, canned goods? Or <laughs> I put it here. These are our favorite tablia. Why? Because I'm from Batanga, so tablia is life. I love going to the grocery. It's my me time. It's my alone time. And if I am going to overstuff, mawala na ako ng grocery time, di ba? One specialty area that I have here in my kitchen is this one. I always feature this. This is my coffee station. Malapit siya where the coffee maker is and yung mga extra Nespresso cup. I always say that you decant what you can measure. One good example is this area. If you decant it, mas malinis tingnan and at the same time, it maximizes pa the space. Now, one thing that you have to remember when you are decanting, I have here. Here, this newly transferred Rice Krispies. So you put the label here and using a chalk marker, this is a liquid chalk marker, you write the expiration date at the back. Just so alam mo kung kailan mo siya dapat hindi nakainin. Here, you see, this is where our utensils are stored. So this is our everyday spoon and fork and this is when we have Guests. We open like three drawers lang when we do table setting. So this one, the glasses, and then the plate, and then our 
utensils. We have our dessert plates where we store mga sauce or dip. This one is when we have play date sa mga kids, our tray, and then mga placemats. This is where I store the cover and I arrange it like this para hindi siya nakaka-consume ng space. It's more long-lasting if I use glass than plastic. This is what we use for cooking. So this one is another storage for milk and then excess mga items for juicing. For you to be able to utilize and maximize your space, you use a step stool. It's easy. You go up and you have an access already dun sa mga matataas na area. In this cabinet naman is where I keep mga cooking essentials. Yan, for red, for white, for rosé. My charger plates are there. And then some storage items that I use for the fridge. Mga lunchbox. It's nice to have these risers to efficiently use the space. Our LPG, our Ziplocs, aluminum foil, and then mga kitchen towels, extra tissue. And this one is for baunan and water bottle. You ask me, why ang dami? You know, I have three kids and sometimes we don't know what they're going to bring in school. So sometimes they bring snacks. I saw this in Landers where you can store and portion your food. This is for vegetables. Kung hindi diet ka, kung sa amin ng husband ko, kaya dalawa yan. My son likes to bring soup in school. I got this food container where it keeps the food hot for five hours. That's our Baunan station. So one specialty area also that I always have is my first aid station. So this is where we keep yung mga medicines, where it's properly labeled. This one, for example, if you pull this out, this is where you can get mga burn ointments, band-aids, so that area where it's empty, that's where I store yung mga table napkins, paper towels when, when I do grocery. So wala siya ngayon, kailangan ng i-restock. Doesn't mean that you have an extra shelf, you have to fill it up. It's not about you thinking na, uy, meron pa akong space, ano kayang pwedeng ilagay ko doon? Kasi ganun yung parati nating thinking eh. And then we end up buying something that we really don't need. This area right here is our Zen Garden. <laughs> According to Feng Shui, there should be a running water in this area of our kitchen. That's why we put a fountain there. And this is also where we store our fruit. I got it from Landers. So this one is chika lang, hindi siya totoo. Plastic lang siya. So pag madaming fruits, nawawala sila dyan. But pag wala masyadong fruits, chuk! Oh, diba? Parang mukhang puno. And then, this one, this cabinet naman, I actually requested this to my husband for entertainment. So nandyan na siya lahat. From champagne to water goblets, and then mga serving plates. My dad told me na one way for the house to be lively and you know very welcoming is when you invite people over. This area right here, we added it lang kasi nung ito pa lang yung nakalagay, parang may kulang. When we got this bookshelf also from our home, parang naisip namin, o oh, sige, gawin na lang natin parang little bar No, Hindi naman namin siya kayang punuin ng alcohol. So we just put all the gins here because, you know, the kids might get it. So this is where we charge our power banks. My husband and I, before we head out, we always drop by this area and get our power banks. Ano yun? Revelation yun. Mahilig ako mag-collect ng power banks. Of course, my diffuser. Mga treats and bread. I got this also from Landers. I keep it like this kasi for sure, kung hindi siya nasa talagyanan, papasukin siya ng langgam. And then here also, another area for entertainment. So another specialty area that I have here in the kitchen, bagong addition to sa kitchen na to, this is my pegboard. Before, in one of the drawers here in my kitchen, and because it's really, literally, a junk drawer. So what I did is, I installed this pegboard just so it's exposed now. Hindi na siya junk. I followed some of the recipes from this book. Of course, notes, kasi kapag halimbawa mamamalengki kami, this is where we store mga table napkin. We just get it and then place it on the table and you have guests. This is my meat obsessions area. This one, you spray it here and yan. Habang siya. It's from Aroma Botanical. It acts like a freshener. Yan, I use Kirin. You know, this is my partner here in the kitchen. I'm going to explain it to you a little bit more. What I'm going to show you next, it's the most dreaded space in the kitchen. Ano ba yung nasa ilalim ng sink mo? I am also going to share with you the cleaning hacks that I do here at home. Stay tuned!